Hey everybody, what's up? So, I was originally going to post yesterday instead of today, when I'm posting today. But anyway, yesterday was just busy. Anyway, so, uh, I'm even going off scripted for this one. I thought this episode of Doctor Who was absolutely incredible. Um, and it totally lived up to the hype. And that that's something that doesn't usually happen. Like, I don't think the season premiere lived up to the, sorry, to the advertising and to the hype that they you know, spent all that money on, and, you know, this, all they really said was, Neil Gaiman is, 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 is writing an episode, and that's all we really had to hear for everyone to start, like, hyping it up and whatnot, and it lived up to it, I mean, uh, da, 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 that's all I can really say, it was really cool, um, my dad and I used to always talk about the idea of the TARDIS being its own character anyway, and then Neil Gaiman went, went and, and made the TARDIS a character, I mean, it was, it was genius, and that was just great, and it was, great to see the different corridors of the um, actual TARDIS, uh, you know, it was great to see the, 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 all the different corridors and stuff, and um, talking about, like, deleting different rooms, which hasn't really been discussed in this, uh, since the series was rebooted in 2005, they have, they've talked about other rooms, they've said that there are other rooms, they've hinted at other rooms, but, you know, uh, they never, in, I'd say until the 11th hour, they didn't really say, like, yes, there are other rooms. It was just kind of like, there's this time machine, it's got a control panel, and we've kind of hinted at other rooms. Like, they've hint, they hinted at wardrobes and, and stuff like that, but they were never like, oh, there's a swimming pool, and there's an office, and there's bedrooms, and there's all this other stuff. They're just like, oh, we have a wardrobe. And that's really the only thing they ever mentioned up until uh, that I can remember them mentioning up until the 11th hour. Now we've gotten to see corridors, and they were talking about deleting rooms, like, uh, back in the, the classic series, which was really cool. Um, I kind of wish the older control room they had gone with an even older control room than just the 9 and 10, but I understand that would have had, they would have probably had to do some recreations. I doubt the BBC has just a stockpile of old Doctor Who sets lying around. I mean, it would have been really cool if they were like, oh, we have a really old, or, you know, I'm taking an old desktop or an old control room, and that's where you're going to meet us. And they walked in, and it was like the fourth Doctor's uh, TARDIS, cause, or, or like the fifth Doctor's TARDIS, or, or even the first Doctor's TARDIS. Like, that would have been really cool. But um, I understand that probably wasn't as possible. It was kind of cool to see, like, Matt Smith, and, and Rory and Amy running around the uh, uh, ninth Doctor, ninth, ninth and Tenth Doctor's uh, TARDIS, which was, that was pretty cool. Has anyone else noticed lately, and I, I don't remember them from last season, but, but in this season there's these little, like, light things, and they're, like, white, and they have, like, little green light in them, and they look kind of like that, and they're, like, kind of all around the control panel. I don't remember that as much from last season, or maybe they just didn't hit the angle of it as much last season, but it, it's definitely a lot more... Pr um, prominent, like, they're definitely more prominent, I don't know if it's just the high def and the, the different camera angles that they've been doing, but, yeah, um, speaking of the high def, um, one thing that I thought was really cool is, uh, you know, a lot of people who know me know that I'm kind of a purist when it comes to Doctor Who, and, you know, when Doctor Who starts to get too pretty, I start to complain a little bit, which, of course, it has this season, because, as my dad and I said, when, when you take, um, <laughs> when you give BBC new things, they're like little boys in a toy shop, with new toys, because they they will go crazy with it, you know, when, when they first started broadcasting in color, it became how much can we cram, how much color can we cram into one scene, and now that they're broadcasting in high def, it's like, <laughs> how many shiny things can we make, and how pretty can we make this, which is really kind of a little annoying sometimes, but, you know, um, they kind of redeem themselves uh, at the end of this episode, uh, and I just love how... Moffat and everyone will just they'll just throw these little touches in of of, of kind of retro, of kind of a retro cheap feel. So like when the doc when the doctor had the TARDIS at the end, um, and he made something you know flash, and you just see the tart like it shows the outside of the TARDIS and it kind of wobbles. It looks like a little toy being kind of pulled along a backdrop, and I really kind of liked that. I thought that was really cute, and um, or like last season when they did kind of the same thing where they ha showed the. Uh, Dalek's ship last season, and they went across, and you just see, like, this really cheap-looking, like, uh, spaceship in front of a backdrop, like, you know, things like that, like, I just love how no matter how pretty Doctor Who will get, no matter how big their budget gets, they will always go back a little bit to their, um, to, to the roots, and that's really cool. Uh, anyway, this 
episode was great. The banter between the Doctor and the TARDIS was great. The banter between the Doctor and Amy was great. Um, they didn't actually, like, kill Rory this time. They kind of made it seem like he was dead, and I, I think that was a good twist. It wasn't kind of, it wasn't really the same plot device as, oh my god, we just saw Rory die. It was very much just the TARDIS playing games with Amy's mind, and that was a, that was really, well, not the TARDIS, the planet, uh, playing games with Amy's mind, and that was really cool, and, um, yeah, I just very much enjoyed it. I thought it was just really, really well written. Uh, I just, my dad, and, like I said, my dad and I talk all the time about how all the doctors, especially, like, the third doctor, um, and some of the other doctors would always, like, talk to the TARDIS, and they'd be like, do you need a moment alone, um, with it, and I just loved the doctor coming in and going, it's a woman, and the TARDIS, and <laughs> Amy just looked at him and said, did you wish really hard? Like, I just, oh, it was brilliant. I think I, there, like, I could just go on about this episode for days and days and days. It was brilliant. It wasn't, there, there was a, I, I think a lot, of, some of the themes are going to show back up later on in the series, but it was a good, it was a good episode. Not too horrible, horribly story arcish. Um, I feel like I could, like, show this episode to my friends and they'd, uh, kind of enjoyed, especially if they know the history of uh, the relationship between the Doctor and the TARDIS. Like, it's just, I just thought it was brilliant. I, I, I thought this was fitting to wear for this. It was my TARDIS shirt. But yeah, um, anyway, uh, notice I'm not sleep deprived today. I've actually gotten like a, almost a whole week of good sleep, and I'm not halfway asleep, and I'm posting this, and that's exciting. I'm just really excited about this episode. It was really good. Anyway, um, I'm going to be posting another video a little later today um, with my little week of, of, of themed vlog type things. I don't know. Discussion pieces, I want to call them. I don't want to call them vlogs because vlogs always seem to be very kind of self-centered and very like, you should care about my life. When it's not really, I don't really want you to care about my life. These are just about thoughts and stuff that I have. I think I'm going to do a couple about love, a couple about, uh, maybe one about politics, uh, one about economy, one about stuff like that. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what anybody else thought about this episode, but I thought it was brilliant, and that's all I'm really going to say, uh, that I've said about a hundred times for the past seven minutes and 32 seconds. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you later.